How many people did you see go into the store? Ashley. Oh, first you got to do 21 times 5. Thank you. Good, it's 105. And 6 times 1 is 6. Good. Just 6. Okay. We end up with our improper fraction, 105, 6. And then? And you get 17 from that. Good, you end up with 17. I think the greatest part about Moby is that it allows you to be, it gives you ultimate freedom in the classroom. It allows you to move around the classroom as you're working with the students, so you can strategically place yourself at somewhere else. Having multiple Mobys in the classroom um, permit you to um, have the students collaborate more. And they can work together in groups, bounce ideas off of one another, which is extremely important at this age level. So it permits a true collaboration of ideas. One of the biggest advantages with the CPS Pulse has been that I'm now getting the data in real time. I can be more proactive with what I'm doing rather than reactive. So in the past where I've had to wait for an exit quiz or the results of a test to know if I can move forward with material, you know, I'll find out during the class period if the students are under mastering the material and we can make those corrections during class. It may be better in math because like during like independent practice before when I didn't have the clickers, you guess that um, I have it right. But now knowing, now knowing I got the clicker, I know if I'm right. I won't have to keep raising my hand asking, oh, is this right, is this right? Generally, we use the clickers every day, but often in the beginning of class, in the beginning of the year, students will be coming into the classroom and asking, are we using the clickers today, are we using the clickers today? Uh, and until they get that the answer is always yes, I always get that question. In our first year as a school, we had 65% of our students pass the state math exam. Using the e-instruction technology in class, Eric was able to get all of our students to a level of proficiency in earning threes and fours on the exam. We saw our, our state test scores jump from 65% to 100% of the students passing. Over the years of using the technology, we saw that not only were, were we able to move all of our students to that level, even students who were really struggling, but we also increased our number of students earning the advanced scoring on the state exam, which is an exciting thing to see that not only are you moving the lowest students to a level of proficiency, but also the proficient students to that next level. Math class has changed because um, we get to use technology now and it's not like all just paper and it's more fun now. The technology really has played a huge part in us being able to focus in on every individual student. Rather than looking at teaching as, as something you do for a whole class, we're able to see how that teaching is translated to an individual student's performance. It's really helped teachers to maximize what they're doing in class because they can reteach at the moment, at the exact moment the student is struggling. You are a more effective teacher. You don't have to be bound to the front of your room. You don't have to be standing there to point to something on the chalkboard anymore. 